It's not, that's not what I said. Yes, it is. Wait. Facing a cross-country backlash, the environment minister now appearing to backtrack on comments he made earlier this week. Gil Bo spoke at this event where, according to a newspaper, he said, our government has made the decision to stop investing in new road infrastructure. There will be no more envelopes for the federal government to enlarge the road network. The blowback followed. These comments have obviously made a lot of us very nervous uh, that they're not going to be the partner for us. The environment minister has once again demonstrated how tone deaf he is on anything to do with environmental issues. The Conservatives called it an extreme policy by an extreme environment minister. We need to invest, we need to build the things that Canadians need to live in the type of country we live in. I think of my own riding, uh, which is 100 kilometres from Vancouver. You need to drive the car. Wednesday, Gilbo told reporters, he says, what he meant to say. What, what, what I have said is that the solutions to our transport challenge passed by many different things, including massive investment in public transit. First, the minister said he was talking about large projects like this multi-billion dollar tunnel to Quebec City. His office later clarified he was only talking about this specific project. Justin Trudeau rose to Gilboa's defense. Once again, the minister has clarified his remarks. Our government's approach to investing in trade corridors and roads that Canadians rely on has not changed since 2015. Gilbo's comments are good policy, but bad politics, according to this researcher. The topic of roads in Canada is a major issue. It's a huge wedge, and in many ways, the, the minister walked into a hornet's nest here. Although the minister attempted some damage control, his comments might intensify opposition to the federal government's other environmental policies. David Thurton, CBC News, Ottawa.